Member for Vancouver, Langara. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Since the terrorist attack by Hamas on October 7th, I've heard from so many members of the Jewish community who are feeling targeted, harassed, and isolated, as well as faculty, staff, and students who no longer feel safe on university and college campuses, including at Langara College, UBC, and SFU. The current Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills has the responsibility to ensure that our universities and colleges are positive places of learning that foster enlightenment and inclusivity and hold them accountable to do so. Today, the alma mater society at UBC will make a decision on an inflammatory referendum that will have significant negative effects on Jewish students. The proposal aims to end the lease for Halal House, a safe place and fixture at UBC for 77 years, support the BDS movement, and cut ties with Israeli universities. This move will not only divide students, but will foster and fuel anti-Semitism on UBC's campus. Anti-Semitism disguised as political discourse threatens the core values of diversity and fairness at UBC and cannot be tolerated. Prior to the dismissal of the former Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills, the member for Coquitlam Millardville set a clear precedent of moral clarity in addressing these issues. It's critical that the current Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills follow suit by publicly condemning the divisive referendum at UBC. With the alarming rise of anti-Semitism in BC, including on university and, campus, uh, university and college campuses, British Columbians <coughs> need leadership from this minister, not silence. The decision on the referendum is happening tonight. The minister must take action. So I implore this minister to stand up in this House and address this. Will the current Minister of Post-Secondary Education and Future Skills condemn this hateful and divisive referendum here in this House in clear and unequivocal terms? Premier. Thank you, uh, Honourable Speaker. Uh, I've been briefed about uh, this petition that's gone forward to the AMS for consideration this evening. Uh, a small group of students, I understand, uh, is requesting uh, that the AMS sanction a referendum about uh, whether or not Hillel House, uh, UBC, UBC, should be allowed to continue to exist, whether or not UBC students can travel to Israel to learn about different parts of the world, among other things. Now, there's a couple ways to look at this. First is, obviously, it's illegal on its face. BC Human Rights Code implicates the MS just like it implicates all organizations. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms, while it may not, maybe an open legal question, directly bind the AMS, the spirit of Section 15, the equality guarantee for all British Columbians, regardless of background, race, ethnicity, religion, equality and access to services, I believe is strongly influential here. There's another way to look at it, which is that tonight, there's an opportunity for leadership among the AMS leadership. I've met so many UBC students. So my, uh, the Point Grey campus is in my constituency. They are amazing. They're incredible people, engaged with the world, compassionate, concerned about the issues of the day. Uh, the students there are leaders in athletics and research and uh, just the work that they do day to day to educate themselves, so ready for the challenges of tomorrow. And this is a chance for them to send a message to British Columbians of all backgrounds that everybody is welcome at post-secondary institutions in British Columbia, that everybody needs to feel safe on campus, whether it's a college, whether it's a grade school, whether it's a high school, whether it's a university. And I really encourage them to seize this moment. We're all so appalled by the at attacks of October 7th. We're all so heartbroken by the death and destruction in Gaza. We all call for the release of the hostages and for peace and in British Columbia, we can protect this space for everybody. Make sure that what makes us strong is us working together. And I call on the AMS to reinforce that spirit at their meeting this evening. <laughs>